Jen, I can't tell you how happy I am that this day has finally come. Before I met you, I didn't think anyone like you existed. This past year has been the best year of my life. You are my unicorn. I truly believe everything happens for a reason that God brought us together. People search their whole lives looking to find what we have and thank you, Jesus, for blessing us with this opportunity. You're the most kind, loving, and caring person I have ever met. You're an amazing woman and I love you with all my heart and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with my best friend and soulmate. On this day, I get to call you my wife and that makes this the happiest and best day of my life. I love you, girl. Jason, it is hard to put words how incredibly excited I am. This day, finally here. I am happy to be by your side and soon be able to say that you're my husband. God has blessed me with a best friend, also a husband. I am proud of the person you have become. I love how you care for others, your children, your family, co-workers, friends, and basically anyone who comes through the path of your life. You're amazing. Who, in behalf of our Heavenly Father, now gives Jennifer to Jason? Her mother and I do. Very good. Thank you. Jen, about a year ago, called me and said that she believed in God so much and her faith was so strong that she she was fine with being by herself because she didn't feel that God had that for her because she loved him so much. About a week later, she called and said, I met Jason. And that, at that moment, was so happy and changed her mind. And she wanted so badly for it to work, and it did. So thank you for being that person where she knew that she couldn't tell God what his plan was that he told her. And I hope that forever you know that. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time that we get to spend together and to, to celebrate Jennifer and Jason. And just help them to know that they are so loved. I just pray that today will go well and that they'll just both be so happy. Jason is very lucky and special. Why is he lucky? Duh, look at his beautiful bride. He is also lucky because he is part of one of, if not the greatest friendship circle, also known as Carolina Boys. This circle is small but very powerful and real. Started in seventh grade, and we have fought, cried, loved, and lived life together for 26 years and still talk or text daily. We will do anything for each other, no questions asked. Take a bullet for, each, for one another, sometimes literally. Jason has always been that glue that kept us all together for good reason. Jason is a man of integrity, always tells the truth, makes a good out of a bad situation, loyal to family and friends, and a dang good daddy. Always does the right thing for other people. Now, let's talk about Jennifer, a woman I met on a Saturday night at her house. Jennifer, I made you a promise that night, and you made me one. I have held up my end of the stick, and so have you. I thank you for that. You will always have a special place in my heart for loving Jason the way you do. Jennifer, just so you know, when we left that night, we got in the car, and when the door shut, Sherry said Jason's going to marry her. Folks, you are witnessing true love right before your eyes. Jennifer and Jason, we wish you a great marriage and to grow up with Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Mission. I love you all.
God has given us a great evening. It's beautiful. I'll stop the rain just for this, for us. Um, we come to a moment like this, and it's important for us to remember that God loves marriage. He created it. Uh, the Bible begins uh, with, a, with a marriage, with a wedding. Uh, Jesus' first miracle takes place at a wedding, and the scriptures end the culmination of human history with Jesus and his bride, the church. Uh, because God loves marriages, He loves weddings. Um, it is Jason and Jennifer's desire today, and not just today, but in the future together, to honor uh, their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They want you to know that. Uh, this is a celebration of what He has done uh, in bringing them together. Jennifer, I give you this ring. As a reminder of my love. As a reminder of my love. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. To have and to cherish. To have and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Jason, I give you this ring. Jason, I give you this ring. As a reminder of my love. As a reminder of my love. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. To have and to cherish. To have and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. By the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has brought together, let no man separate. You may now, Jason, kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jason McKenzie.